So our detective work is done. Yes. It's time for action. Yes. This is why we're standing in front of a whiteboard that you will fill with brilliance. We're talking design, I presume. Yeah. This is why we're here. Yeah. Okay. So tell me. So now it's time to design. How uh -huh. do you start with a blank piece of paper or with the satellite image mm -hmm. or if you invested in a surveyor ah, like yes. surveying uh -huh. your land which your is plot, the, yep, the most land. accurate uh -huh. way of uh, putting your plot into paper then you know all the heights too mm -hmm. um, so for this example we're just going to use one rectangular shaped plot of land is that my future plot that's your future my plot nuts and my pigs and exactly. my water okay so we're gonna start by your dwelling uh-huh your beautiful house with a mm -hmm. patio with a porch yeah with your rocking chair oh good lord am i that old okay go on i then. don't know so this is what we call the zone zero okay and everything starts here. Uh -huh. You live here. Yes. Most people spend most of their lives in their homes. Mm -hmm. So this is an important part. I use the permaculture principles to get to the five different zones. Mm -hmm. So you go from zero, where you are the most, mm -hmm. to five. And let's, for our sake, just say that this here is zone five. Yeah. What is zone five? It's the opposite. This is civilization. Mm -hmm. This is wilderness. Okay. So you want to give a part of your land back to nature, mm -hmm. to observe, to learn, but also to have pest control mm -hmm. because nature, the wilderness, it's a habitat for thousands of creatures who can help balance the ecosystem of the entire plot. Mm -hmm. Mostly we do it as far from the house as possible because it's a long way to run around the house what do you have around the house most people they have a terrace mm -hmm. call it one zone one yeah you have a terrace you have your herb garden because if you cook you do not want to go to the other side of your plot to get some fennel for your fennel huh? nice for yes. your for in your Indeed. food for example, yeah. Um, if you have chickens, mm -hmm. you do not want to have it as far as yeah. f from your from your home as well, because you need to go there every day to have mm -hmm. your eggs, collect your eggs, yeah. To make an omelet for breakfast, have a chat with them even. Have a chat with them because happy chickens. Yes, and happy you because chi chickens are always enthusiasts. They are. <laughs> so that's like zone one, maybe zone two. Okay. Put some chickens over here. Okay. Uh, so you can. You see where we're going? Uh -huh. It's most frequented, less most frequented. Less herb garden chickens. Yes. So okay. we are programmed to be lazy. We do not want to go to the other side okay. of the garden to go to your chickens. So close by. Mm -hmm. Then we go to zone two. Mm -hmm. What's zone two? Zone two is where you go a few times a week. For example, your herb, uh, your vegetable garden. Okay. Your vegetable garden, uh, what you grow, carrots, cabbage, mm -hmm. whatever you like, all growing lettuce. here. Lettuce. Courgette. Courgette, yes. Mm -hmm. Zone three, for example. Yeah. What would be growing there? Some plants. No. Are you just looking at me despairingly because I've not done any proper listening now? We're coming to the critical bit of design and I'm but failing. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm just asking Ooh. you, but I haven't told you yet. So oh, okay. Uh, you I can was guess. thinking, uh, you can guess. I don't know, water, plants, yeah. um, animals. Animals, um, yeah. So there you do not go that often. For example, you can put shrubs. Shrubs. Such as raspberries. Okay. Okay. Other animals, such as, for example, goats. Yes. Do I advise you to have goats? No. Why not? Because because they do a lot of eating of some important. Goats are moss yeah. destroyers. They are, aren't so they? So I okay. wouldn't recommend well, you don't having put goats. A goat in then. What? So I will remove this yes. and maybe make a sheep out of it. I think so. They are more docile. Thank you. Is that the fluffy sheep? Yeah. Fluffiness. Okay. Exactly. Yep. Uh, you see the difference? That is an eyeless <laughs> sheep. Okay, I do. Um, and then four. Yep. 
that's where you do not go that often. Mm -hmm. Here, you, for example, put like the really big trees. Okay. For example, the chestnut trees, they mm -hmm. only give food once a year. Okay. If you have cows, you put them there. All right. You go there often, but not too often, uh, depending on, uh, on what type of cows. I always advise use, for example, Scottish Highland cows. Mm -hmm. um, who can really take care of themselves. Okay. Uh, they can survive like on their idea. own. They, we don't even need to see them. They don't yeah. even need to visit the house. And so what are we talking about in terms of distance here? When you talk about close to it, not going so You can far. do it on micro scale. Yeah. For example, if this garden is, for example, 50 meters, mm -hmm. um, that you, you, no, won't, cool. you, you, you won't put cows in the no, garden indeed. And, and, yep. and sheep, but all the rest, you, you can, can do it. Okay. Um, so what would I need for this? If I want those kinds yeah. of animals, what sort of size would I be looking well, at? Well, ideally, I would, I would advise you to have around five hectares, okay. four to five hectares, um, to give them enough space. Okay. Um, you can do it with one hectare or two hectares, but then the cow maybe do not have a cow. Uh, sheep yeah. are okay, but cows okay. need a little bit more. But what's also interesting here, if we that this is a terrace, mm -hmm. I will just draw it here. So this is your house. Yeah. Oh, this is like the most ugly house ever, but. Mm. It's a strange see. house. It's got a bit of a collapsed roof, that yeah. house. Okay. But it's, an, it's one you, ha you still have to uh, renovate. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is your house. Uh -huh. um, and around the house is terrace. Yes. And terrace is made out of rock. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it reminds you maybe of the succession. Ah, what happens next? That's right. Ah, we're going to put like some little vegetables over here. Yeah. That's like the annuals. Uh -huh. Then we have this raspberry bush, zone three, so zero, one, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three, yeah, and it, with the raspberry bush you can also have like the small apple trees for mm -hmm. example, and then four, it's like the bigger apple trees or the pear trees or the With your cows trees. possibly. With your cows possibly. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's really not a, <laughs> That's I'm not, not a cow. really sure you know anything about animals or land, but I'll just go with it yes. for now. Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, and then zone five is really yeah. the wilderness okay. where you have like those huge trees. Yeah. Eh, the ones okay. that go really high. So you see, you go from zero mm -hmm. to five and it's like whoop, a crescendo. Yeah. So these are all the different levels. Yeah. This is the succession and this and is what you spoke about. So that's grandpa, that's the babies here, yeah. you said. That's the babies. That's the, that's the grandpa. Longevity, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, that's one of the main design things you have to put in mind okay. while designing your property. It's like going from low to high. Of course, it doesn't mean you can put a tree next to your house, mm -hmm. for example. It doesn't mean, I could. You could, yeah. yeah. Okay. You could do it, and yeah. I even recommend to do it because you need shade. It's getting warmer every day, uh, so you can of course mix it. But general rule That's of the thumb, general principle yeah. in terms of the distance, the levels, yeah. the the you really have to the succession. Yeah, think about the okay. things you will be needing to go yeah. every day. Needs to be very close mm -hmm. and vice versa. And if you want to get lost in the wilderness, put it further away yeah. because you probably don't want to do that every day. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well said. Um, so you can do it once like from low to high uh -huh. interesting as well is if we draw this kind of low to high the highest part should be in the northern side right ah so okay it would be that this yeah is the north, north. yeah and the sun and then you've got your east to exactly yeah. so the sun Go rises right. here yeah. uh -huh. And goes all around mm -hmm. and sets and sets over mm -hmm. here. So here you see the sun mm -hmm. can put this race all on, on yeah. this. Mm -hmm. So this is a general rule, yep. but it doesn't mean you have to do it once. You can do it multiple times. For example, you can go from low to high over here. Yeah, over here. Yeah, I see. And then a second one oh. like here mm -hmm. and a third one over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and so you can so go succession on within and succession on. within succession. Exactly. It's like something yeah. quite Kafkaesque, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, it, and so the next thing is, so this is general rule. The next thing is, we have to look at natural patterns 
to make your design for the next video.